Are you putting your... Please take those off. <laughs> I sounded like Cindy when I said that. Cindy, uh, you hang have to, up and hang out. You have to What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's good? No, your turn, Cindy. What's up, guys? <laughs> Better sing it out. What's up, guys? Beautiful. Oh, you heard that harmony? What's up, guys? Anyways, what's so good? We're what's back. up? Show your bum some love. What's good? Yeah. What's up? Are we starting that over? Your battery's about to die, so guess so. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. See, we have some fajitas. They had a deal today, the Wednesday deal that Sydney told us about. So we have fresh tortillas and they're warm. We got the chips, the cheese, the charro beans, rice, salsa, salsa, fajita meat, fajita chicken, and all the fixings. So we are going to dig in hard and party. Here you go, Sydney. Clinton already ate. So let us tell you what happened, y'all. I had to get a few bites of. I think I was doing schoolwork. So I tried to do my schoolwork during the day. Sometimes I'm still up at 8, 9 o'clock doing schoolwork. And I get an alert on my phone mm. saying, did I make a charge of $51 and like 28 cents for Domino's in New York, in New York. I mean, that would be nice, but <laughs> no. I'm at home trying to avoid the corona in Texas. <laughs> and let me tell you, so they sent a text and they said, did you make this charge? Yes or no? So I just typed yes. What? Why? I mean, I'm sorry. I typed no. Sorry. I was like, wait, wait. wait. Hmm? Hmm? I didn't, you had to click yes. Did mm. you, Bobby? Did you type yes? Yeah. You I do remember. Know. I don't remember what the question said. I don't have yeah. a phone. But it was yes. I'll look in a second. Whatever it was, we had to say yes. 
In other words, we did not make that charge, but I forgot how they worded it. And um, and then I didn't really think any more about it. Then I get another notification. Your card has been canceled. I'm like, Florida Evans. She's back in. Damn, damn, damn. Card canceled. In my debit card, I don't do credit cards at all. I'm like, well, we need something. I got bills to pay. And you know when your card is canceled, if you have automated, if you have automatic bills that come out, oh yeah, which was gonna happen the next day, not thinking about it, all types of denied things came in the next morning. I was like, dang. So then you gotta deal with those. Oh. Then Bobby comes down. Yeah. Um, so I think this happened. This probably happened about like five minutes apart. But I didn't come down and tell her until like an hour later. And I was like, because I forgot. It was like someone tried to use my car. And I got a message about it. And then she was like, me too. And so, you know, we're like, oh, we have to call the bank, this and that, because they said they were going to send us new cards. But it was weird because how would they know where to send our cards to? Right. So they thought, and I didn't request a new card. Right. They thought that, we kind of thought like the scammer was trying to scam us with a scam. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if that makes any sense. And so, you know, I'm like, yeah, my card, they said someone used it. She does too. So we called the bank in the morning. And they say... They tried to use my card, and they tried to use Bobby's card. And not mine. Thank God. Not from the way. Cause I had to use her card to pay a bill that was an emergency bill that was supposed to come out today, the day of this video. So, if they tried to use all three of our cards, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, it food. says, um, did, did you or someone authorize, did you or someone you authorize use your Chase debit card or ATM card for a transaction of $51.03 that was declined at a fast food restaurant, Domino's in New York, New York, U.S. on 414? And so we clicked no. Mm-hmm. Okay. I really thought I clicked yes, but maybe I clicked no. I don't remember. But then they send another thing saying that um, important information regarding your new Chase debit card. As you request, we've ordered you a new debit card. Oh my God, I didn't request anything. Right. So, but when you clicked no, that automatically meant you need a new card. But I didn't know that. I thought the scammer was trying to scam me even further. By ordering a new card. And you know, finessing us. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to make some calls. The wait time now mm -mm, is 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 long for any type of call. Long. So I finally got through after holding for over an hour, probably 64 minutes, I was on hold waiting for Chase. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want another one. Oh, I'm so full. That filled me up. Yeah, maybe not. One was good, yeah. but I'm gonna have another one. I can't. I haven't even ate today. You yeah. haven't eaten anything? No, and that one was, I'm really full. And I just drank a bunch of water. I felt Ooh, it. Oh, this is not even. Yeah, that's why mine was like that. And I, that's why I ripped half of it off. 
because I know this is about to be gone, boo. So let me go in now. Could hey. you do your tortilla? Sorry. You gotta find a good one in there. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go for it. Because they're fresh tortillas and they use they do it by machine. So you know, and sometimes machines don't get them that great. Unless like by hand. Mm -hmm. Like as it does by hand. So long story short, I finally got through the bank and I was like, well, I didn't understand. I thought the scammer just, you know, use my card. They was like, no, they use your card and your, they attempted to use your card and your daughter's card. And she says, that's why you both got the alerts. But it's how, how? I don't understand. Did they just type in a random card number? You think their luck gonna be that good to have both of ours? Yeah. Uh, shoot, but I feel like scam doesn't work like that. Right. <laughs> but it's like, how does how do they do that? I don't know. I'm no, like, like, it's like whoop, whoop, whoop. sorry. Oh, where have you guys gone to eat? I mean, where have you guys gone to eat recently? They no could have scanned your card. You could have scanned your card. I'm like. You know what I'm talking about, Mom? Yeah, but like we have Like one of those card swipers, and it's like a fake one, and it scans your card. Yeah, but we haven't been can anywhere. Be gas? Like that. No, it could be gas. Yeah, it no, could be... be gas. No, you can order those like literally on the on the dark web, and it's like you put it inside like an ATM. But or how would you they scan get your card? Yeah, but how would they get cars? both of ours? And from New York, because we've never been. I've never. You know, used no. My sometimes card. they sell your card information. Yeah, no, they sell your card information. It's on the dark web and everything. But I've never. And um, why do you know about that, Clint? Right. Because I, because I have the dark web on my PC. It's not illegal to look through it, but like it's illegal to buy stuff on there. But it's it's interesting. Do you know how big the internet is? The internet that we use, it's like they call it an iceberg. So it's like an upside down. It's like an iceberg. So it's like this. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. So the top is just like we just use the surface of the iceberg of the internet. Right. And there's the dark web, Tor mm. browsers, and everything. It's cute on going nine and nine. You could buy anything on the internet. Literally everything is on the internet. Google has a place in Antarctica that it's so like they have to put it in Antarctica because like all the equipment that they have there gets so hot, so they have mm. to have it there. And it's like wow. it literally has information about everybody in the world. Wow. Like it has like your whole entire like I don't know. It has, like, that's very interesting. Mm-hmm. But we've never been anywhere. But yeah, you can buy it for, for me. I'm because I've never used my card. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I have my card information on a lot of stuff on my phone, so and my card information is pre like auto like in Domino's the app, so mm -hmm. and yours maybe too. But it's just like how they get it from here. Well, I guess they sell it. There. And then both of ours, yeah, that's so odd to me. Yeah, but no, that's illegal. He, that guy probably tried to do that. Sorry. I got caught. If you try and steal an American credit card, okay. it's been only I'm with that much. Okay. <laughs> so, that's how I spent my morning. Um, and I was sound asleep. <laughs> trying to figure out who's trying to steal my life and my, my little bit of coins. Okay? And my two dollars in my bank account i think it was dollar 59. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually 20. i mean it's just horrible when someone tries to steal you know your money your identity right it's horrible get a job but honestly mm. like i'm not trying to say anything but like <laughs> no but like I find like hackers and like those type of people, I think they're such like talented people. I don't know if that's gonna cause some, you know, controversy, but that's just like. That's that's just, well, I just did a training at school and they, they hired, some company hired one of the world's biggest hackers. And they're such like talented people, like how they can do that stuff without getting caught. That's just crazy to me. And we had to watch a video when you get things into your phone. I mean, he just broke it all down. And he took his negative skill mm -hmm. and made it in and turned it around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But on my on this show, I watch called Criminal Minds. The 
like whenever there's like hackers they're put on a radar and you know if you're like really good the government will keep an eye on you and they're like we could use them and they turn that negative skill into a positive that they can then use so like this lady was a hacker and she was really good at what she did and then the government had her their eye on her making sure she wasn't doing anything like crazy illegal but also to see like if she could be beneficial to then help you know put her skill to use and then she got hired in the fbi mm -hmm. so, so turn that negative and turn it in, take that negative turn it into a positive yeah. mm -hmm. i think that's great they're just like talented people to me how they learn how to like code and all that it's mm -hmm. just interesting to me not that i'm gonna go out and do that or anything i'm not getting ideas any ideas but just interesting to me. Woo! Full Bobby? Very. How are you doing, Sydney? You in heaven? I'm feeling. <laughs> so, I had some, I know a few people who had their identity stolen. I thought it was 20 minutes, 24. I think so. It was 23 points. Okay. Yeah, that's I the last thing I saw. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. Um, I know some people, do you have any experiences where somebody stole your identity, stole your money? But I will tell you this. Chase, I know I bank with Chase, which is a major bank. All the major banks, let me tell you, you'll get your money back. Yeah. Somebody took money. They made a whole bunch of charges. And I um let Chase know, honey, my money was back in my account in less than 24 hours. I mean, it wasn't much, but to me, it was a lot. I remember that. Mm-hmm. I don't. It was about four charges or something like that. Wasn't that like last year? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They bought gas. They, they were just buying little things throughout the city. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Here? Uh huh. It was last year. Oh, yeah, I think it was Houston. Mm. How they were doing it, I do not know. It's like Chase returned your money. Well, that mm -hmm. person just gets away with it. Whatever, you know, karma. will eventually get caught one day. Mm hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> So Chase will, they will give you back your money. All right. I just want to do it. I don't want to force it down. So I've never had, I mean, it's happened to me. This is so with this time, the last time, this has probably happened to me about four times. Mm -hmm. I remember, no, I think that was last year. Now they get your social security number and stuff, baby. They can turn your world upside down. What do they do with their social security number? Still your identity. Still your identity. Open up accounts, open up credit cards, whatever. I am terrified of that type of stuff. Like, I think I watched a movie uh -huh. one time, or no, I read a book about it. No, I like read the summary of a book and I wanted to read it for my class because we could choose a book, but it wouldn't come in until like after when we needed the book by. But it was about like, hold on. Like this lady, I think she was a lady, and someone like stole her identity and like went as far as like following all her family on social media and like just like a bunch of really bad things. But it sounded interesting, but also like that sounds so scary. Mm hmm. I would say it, it is very scary. Yeah, that's creepy. Following the friends of family on social media too. Yeah. My biggest fear. Hmm. I don't know. So, be careful with your um credit card. But I'm very thankful to Chase. They were on it. And even when I talked to the lady, <clears throat> and when I talked to the lady, 
I was like, thank you for catching that, you know, cause they could have done a lot of damage and you guys picked it up. You noticed something was off. I don't know how you guys did that. And then she na named some other charges. I was like, no, th that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. And they could like see like, like, oh, she just made a charge here in Texas, but then an hour later, there's a charge in New York. That doesn't add up. So they probably have some algorithm that picks that up, like the locations and stuff. Cause you know, only one person can have your debit card, so. And when Sydney was um going to Honduras. Oh yeah. She wanted to inform the bank that she was gonna be in Honduras so they wouldn't cancel her card just like this. But I guess she would've got an alert. Is this you? Yeah, but I didn't have any service. And plus my phone was turned off the entire time. And she, it would've, she would've had to say yes. Right. But then the charge still wouldn't go through. You would have to do it again. But the thing is, I wasn't worried about it because Mark was gonna pay for whoever didn't have a debit card or like, and I told him, I was like, I didn't like, Excuse me, sorry, I didn't, like we forgot to call the bank and they're closed today, but my mom's gonna call tomorrow. And Julia was like, we don't have to pay for anything until Friday, so. And then, I don't know if you ever called the bank, did you? No. See, yeah, and now it's fine, so. <laughs> no. Hang up and hang out, Sunny. Sorry, this is actually important. All right, guys. This is so good. Papa Cito's. Wednesdays. Wednesdays. They have a discount, a huge, almost like a 30 to 40% discount. And this was a family meal, a family, and this was a family pack. I don't know if this would last much longer just because like but like I just want one more in there yeah just about one more to you mm -hmm. but we were loading ours up so I feel like it could give you about we ate five so I say I give you about eight tacos depending if you're not putting too much on them and if you have a kid yeah they're not gonna want all the stuff so it's a good deal. All right, guys. Make sure you share your identity horror stories with us. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with us. You didn't have to be here. It does not cost you a thing to hit the thumbs subscribe. up button. Subscribe. And make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Like and comment. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Later. Until, until next time. Later. Later.